What's up guys, Dark Dally here, and today we're using the Far Cry 5 map editor, and I want to start a little tutorial series on how to use this. Now I'm still figuring it out myself, so I'm going to kind of learn with you guys as we go through this, but as I've seen, there's really not a lot of good resources on, you know, learning how to use this extensively, so we're going to go through it, we're going to figure it out together, and I'm going to show you step by step um, how to do the various things that you want to do. All right, first of all, today's tutorial, what I want to start off with is what I figured out so far on modifying... Uh, and manipulating terrain and your weather and your background and stuff like that because it's kind of going to be one of you know one of the first things that you want to do i have a very basic map i've started out here and uh, just i got i got me a little car and i got a road and i've been working on driving the road and working with the terrain and so that's what i want to do today so here's what we're going to do we're going to start a new map so let's go start a new map and uh let's see here all right so we're going to go to all right so when you first arrive in the arcade editor your menu is going to look similar to this. The manage map option, this is going to allow me to save, load, you know, save or load this map or another map or just make a new map. We're going to make a new map and we're going to do, we're going to do empty because we're going to go over terrain. And we're just going to do uh, something like that. So this is just going to kind of select what kind of, you know, game mode the map's going to be. Uh, we'll get to that later once I fully figure that part out. All right, new map. Now it's going to ask, do you want to save or not save this old map? That you were working on i'm gonna hit don't save because it was already saved all right so here we have an empty map so this is what you're going to start off with now there's one thing i want to mention about some of the weather and stuff like that when i made my old map let's look at the sky first okay so let's look at the uh the tools and the buttons i have and i want to talk about the sky first and then we'll talk a bit about the terrain and this can be intimidating because i hear i have an open map that's completely empty and it's like what the hell do i do all right, first, I want to talk about something about the sky that I had happen with my original map. All right, so the controls, right, back to controls. Okay, so I'm on PS4. So if you're not on PS4, if you're on Xbox One or if you're on PC, your controls may be different. So just keep that in mind. All right, L1 is going to be your basic thing to pop up, all your, all your basic in-map modifying tools. Now, one thing I want to show you guys is under environment and audio, because that's l largely what we're talking about is environment and uh, terrain today. And we're looking at fog. I had a big fog problem on my old map and I could not solve it. And I'll show you what the problem was. The problem was when I randomly created the map, my sky looked like this. I couldn't see my sky. Now, obviously you just see what I did. I changed the fog bottom density. But what I'm saying is this, I had this map. Let's just pretend that this checkerboard here is terrain. And when it generated my map, my sky looked like this, no matter how many times they changed the time of day or anything like that. So if you have that problem, if you're having a problem where you can't see your sky and you're looking through all of these settings, I mean, all of these ridiculous settings everywhere, um, your problem is likely in fog and it's the bottom density. If you don't want fog, you can just turn this all the way down. Now, as long as we're talking real basic stuff here, as far as moving these bars, there's a little, um, there, there's some shortcuts I want to go over. Notice there at the bottom of the screen, it says fast increase, fast decrease. R2, if I just hold the right on the D-pad, see this bar increases really slowly. If I hold R2, it increases really quickly. So that's a, a good little tip to have right there. All right, so let's have a look at terrain and creating the backdrop and things like that. So let's look at our map. Now I'm going to use, okay, when I push R1, it lets me move my camera up and down. And aside from that, you're basically flying. So wherever you look is where you go. So wherever you look is where you go. R1 will alter your height so long as you're not in, you know, in any menus. And hitting, again, on PS4, L3 will toggle your speed. Like right now, I'm at the fastest speed. I'm at the fastest speed. If you look up in the upper right-hand corner of my screen, see that number toggling up there? I'll point to it for you. See that number toggling? That's your speed. See, this is super slow. So you can, you know, have really fine or really fast movement speed. Three or four seems to work pretty good for editing. Let's do four times. Okay, so let's add some terrain and stuff like that because that's what we're doing today, right, guys? Let's add some terrain. Let's get a backdrop and let's start a map that we're going to build throughout the course of this tutorial. All right. So first we need, um, let's get a backdrop because it's completely empty out there. So we're going to hit L1 to open up the toolbox and we're going to go to environment and audio because we want to add environment, right? Down here, right here, backdrop on the on the radial menu. We're going to choose backdrop. Now here we can select, there we go. See, look at that. How about that? It almost looks like a map now. We can select various different backdrops. Ooh, I kind of like the snowy theme. And we have a desert one, mountains. All right, so 
you know what? I kind of like the snowy one. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Now, we got a few different buttons we can use here. We can, okay, so we can change the angle right here. It's it's bothering me that it's that it's that the, the angle is off. So let's just change this a little bit. And we can also, if we go up here, we can also with the backdrop height, we can hit left or right on the D-pad and move it up or down as we see fit. I know there's that big gap there, but when you're down on the map, you're not going to see that. At least, um, well, probably not. We'll find out. I'm still figuring this out too. So we got a backdrop. We can just hit circle and back out of that. And now we've got this um, big empty map with nothing. We need to paint some terrain. The first thing you want to do is going to be, and again, we're just kind of doing this tutorial piece by piece, so I apologize if I'm not showing you exactly what you want to see here today. I'm trying to hit all the things that I can for starting a map, getting your sky nice and clear, getting your backdrop, and now terrain. Let's look at painting terrain. So we're going to go to, uh, we're going to hit L1 to open up our tools, our main tool radial menu here, and we're going to go to terrain. Now, paint texture what this is going to do see we had that big ugly checkerboard so we're, we want to paint a texture on it let's let's get a, a texture it's going to open this up and uh let's go ahead and select a texture see right there the only check texture we have selected is checkerboard well we don't want checkerboard we want actual terrain so let's select that let's change it off of text uh let's change it off of the checkerboard onto something usable let's find something good that might match that background let's something let's find something uh do we have a snowy kind of terrain here Okay, so we got snow seven, snow one. Let's use snow one is what we're going to use. And we'll just hit select. And bam. So now we have a big white square. Don't worry, guys. We're going to fix this. All right. Let's add some, uh, well, let's add some texture to this because right now, whoops. Okay, don't mind what I'm doing here. All right, let's back out of this. All right, let's add some texture to this. So let's go to terrain tools. Let's get some texture so we can actually see what we're doing. Um, maybe I shouldn't have chosen all white, but hey, I did. All right, terrain. Now, what we can do is let's go up to terrain tools. Now, here's where all the tools are going to be that are going to give our give our uh, our environment some some uh, character, if you will. Let's do uh, let's just create some noise. That's what we're going to do right here. Uh, this is a good way to start. Just kind of break up the train of a, of a new fresh map. Let's add noise. Now, the first thing we want to do is, okay, here, here's how noise works. It's going to create undulating ups and downs. It's going to kind of add a natural look if we can get it nice and smooth. When I hit R2, it's going to, yeah, I, I can move this around. And wherever I have this, it's going to create, uh, well, noise. Yeah, bumpy ups and downs, which we can smooth out later. We can smooth these out later. Now, if you want to undo something, notice at the bottom of the screen it says R3, undo, redo, or play. We can hold the R3 button, and I can hit undo, undo. Let's just undo all that. So you notice when I hold R3, I can go ahead and I can hit left for undo. That's very handy. Let's go ahead. Let's change the brush size. This, this right here, I guess, is my brush and the way you do that, notice at the bottom left-hand corner of my screen, it says hold R1 shortcut. You may be like, what is that? I'll show you what that is. When you hold that, it allows you to change your radius and speed. That allows you to change your radius and speed of your brush on the fly. Now, notice those things are here in my menu. This allows you to do it on the fly um, to quickly modify terrain. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold R1 and we're going to use the L stick for radius going to give us a bit bigger radius. Let's also change our speed a little bit with the R button. There we go. And now we can kind of come around, see what we're doing. Now we can kind of come around and we can create some texture to get our map started. So let's get our map started here. Let's get some mountains, not too mountainous, not enough. We can't, you know, move around it. Let's just get a little bit going on here. All right. Let's get a little more noise. I like to start off with noise personally. There's probably other things I'll discover I like better eventually. But for right now, this is the, the main uh, kind of starting tool I've been using to get some interruption in a blank map. That said, you can start off on a random map of some type, but I'm not really happy with, you know, um, any of them per se. So we're just going to kind of make some mountains since, I mean, now it kind of matches our background a little bit. But there may be problems in that uh, as far as using this tool let's go ahead and decrease my my brush size and there we go let's back back out okay as far as using this tool noise is great for creating really good organic looking mountains and hills but they may be a little too rough i mean how are you going to traverse this okay like let's say that our guy um 
well, let's say our spawn point is right here, right? So let's just load in right here. Let's load in and let's see how this terrain looks. And I'll show you good ways to kind of like smooth it out and whatnot. Now, the first time that you go to explore a map, it may take a second to to do this and it'll probably speed up as we do it more and more because I know my other maps, when I go to play them, it loads them almost instantly. And there we go. So it's generated my map. All right. So here we have our little... Uh... All right. So we got some terrain started. Yeah, we got some terrain started, but we want to kind of smooth this out because it's kind of ridiculous. So let's let's go ahead and let's do that. Just go to start, and what you want to do is let's go to back to back to arcade editor. All right, so we're back in the editor now, back nice and comfortable where we were. Let's go ahead and hit L1, open up terrain, terrain tools, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to smooth. I'm going to show you a little bit how to use the smooth tool. Using the smooth tool, let's just um, let's just find a section here and let's just hold R2 and watch what happens. Ah, look at that. Isn't that much better? I say I like the noise, but sometimes the noise is a bit much. Now that said, we can change all the settings of the smooth tool. Radius. So again, we're going to have the same tools here as we did in the uh, the noise tool. When I hold R1, it's going to pop up the shortcuts in the bottom left. Radius and speed. Let's decrease the radius just a little bit. And um, speed is going to control how quickly the, the ground adjusts. So like, um, what's my setting right now? My setting right now is 25. So it's 25 when I hold R2 it adjusts it fairly quick. If I turn that down, okay, I've turned it down to, well, it's not turned down to zero, that might not do anything. Let's turn it down to four. And it's gonna, see, much slower. In fact, you can probably barely even see the ground moving right there. Let's turn it up just a little bit more. That's why there's the shortcut buttons. It allows you to quickly adjust these things on the fly. Let's even some of this out a little bit and we can do that like this. And I can hold, um, if I want to even some of this out even more with a wider uh, radius, of course, I can hold R1 again for the shortcut. Just quickly increase my radius and kind of level this out more. Let's go down here. Let, let's uh, lower this slope a little bit. So here's some of the basic tools to adjusting your terrain, um, getting some of your weather settings and, and, and stuff like that correct, and, and getting those, those, those default kind of start settings set for your map. Now, there's ways... You notice when I jumped into Explore, what I did was, when you hold R3, you can choose to undo, redo, explore, or play. Hitting up, so if I hold um, R3 and hit up, I can quickly just jump in, play the map. There's another way to do that. Let's go ahead and go through that real quick, because we're, we're looking at ins and outs of creating terrain and making your map. Let's go ahead and hit the Start button, or I'm sorry, Options. I I call it Start, the yeah, Options button. And what we can do is, we can resume, go back to Arcade Editor, or um, do other stuff. So let's go back to the editor. So that's basically the way to get out of exploration back into editing your map. The other way to do uh, to go in and out is to hit options and go to, well, you can choose explore or play and then you can come back. Now there's lots of other tools here and I, as we continue this series, this is gonna be a long series, guys. I want you to let me know what you wanna see next. I'll figure it out and we'll create a tutorial on it as we go because there's a lot of options. I give you a little bit on the sky in the backdrop, but there's so much more there. Let's go to environment and audio. Let's have a look at, um, well shit, day, nice, day or night cycle, see if we can change the time of day here. A lot of this is fairly um, intuitive, but not all of it is quite so much. We can change uh, the time of day, even the latitude of the sun and moon, the angles, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you can really go through and change everything there, and the fog setting is ridiculous. I don't know why there's so many fog settings. Maybe I'll figure that out. We can change the weather here, all kinds of interesting stuff. High mountain, well, we are in the mountains, so that's good. We can choose different clouds. Look at that. There we go, those are beautiful clouds. Let's use those clouds. We can change, yeah, all the stuff you can see. We can make it stormy. Listen to it, isn't that cool? There's a lot of other settings we can do and I'll explore these. Let me know what you wanna see next, guys. For now, here's the basics on kind of creating and, you know, let's do some more smoothing here. Creating and kind of smoothing out some of your starting terrain into a nice, playable, beautiful map. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Let me know what you want to see next in uh, tomorrow's episode. I'm Dark Dally, and I will see you in the Far Cry 5 editor next time.